Hey guys, I'm Ian. I'm one of the UGA housing vloggers, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of O House on the UGA Snapchat. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys the lobby and how you walk in. We're going to go through the hallways, then I'm going to show you my own room to show you what the rooms are like. Okay, so this is the lobby of O House. Um, this is where the community meets and has like some food sometimes, a couple times a month usually. Um, the RIs that meet with us down here are in our respective floor lobbies, which you'll see in just a second. But to get inside, we have to scan our card and flash our card to the attendant to make sure nobody that lives in O House can come in without accompanying it. This is the lobby of my floor, the seventh floor. Um, our RA always meets with us out here when he needs to, which is usually just before checkouts or when he needs to like updates on some rules or something. And out here, there's like a little lounge area for anybody that wants to meet and have pizza or study or whatever. Um, as you can see, a good bit of campus out the window too because we're so high up. All right, every floor in our house has one of these court boards outside, and the RA is in charge of decorating it every year. And our floor has a list of things that you can do to do well in college. Okay, our floor doesn't have a kitchen, but every other floor does. And the place that the kitchen would be, which is right here, we have uh, custodian storage because they need to have their supplies on every other floor. So if we need to cook something, that's go down a floor or up a floor. Okay, so this is the hallway of the seventh floor. Um, it's pretty much mirrored on every other floor of our house. Um, in every floor, right smack dab in the middle, there's a water water fountain with a bottle filler upper right here and I actually live right next to it. Alright. Welcome to my crib. Um, I had a video about this put up on the UJ Howard channel. It was a dorm tour. It was my first video. But um, we'll just give a quick overview of it and show you what, what it's structured like. Okay, so this is my room. Um, every dorm room in O House comes with two of these little coffee tables, uh, two desks just like this, the bed frame, and this one dresser. So the roommates have to share the dresser and each gets a coffee table, a desk, and a bed. So this is me and my roommate set up. Um, he has his um, coffee table underneath his desk to maximize like space because he doesn't have much anywhere to put it since we have a fridge over here. Um, I, on the other hand, spread mine out a little bit, so I have this little nook in which I put a bunch of my bags. There's my camera bag, and there's my um, book bag for school, and so I just kind of hide things right there when I need them often and don't really have anywhere to put them permanently. Um, everything else is, it's actually pretty spacious when you manage the space right, so I've got like my espresso machine, and I've got my speaker right in front of me. The speaker, you get to Bluetooth, so I can just... Um, watch a good movie sitting right here and the speaker gives me good sound um, but I also have other things like decorations on my desk my old camera and my Jon Snow statue uh, it, they come with this chair it's, um, it, if I'm not mistaken the cloth on each chair is like a different color every floor so that's pretty cool but um, I have my chair that I sit in to read and like leisurely use the computer but here is where I sit if I actually need to do work, like edit a video for housing, or if I'm doing homework. Because I'm um, sitting upright but not slouching, it helps you focus. So I like to stay up here to study, unlike a lot of people who go to the study areas in the basement. Okay, so every bed has a mattress that comes on it. They're kind of thin, so you want to get a mattress topper of some sort. And that will make the bed pretty much perfect, like just like a bed from home. But uh, we're going to move on to the sink in the room. The sink is actually in the room. You don't have to go to a community bathroom or anything in O House because they're suite style. So we share a bathroom with the room next to us. All right, the bathroom's um, small. It's just got one toilet and one shower. And in our case, we have four racks on which to hang towels. 
Okay, uh, also the roof floors are tile, so you definitely want to get some rugs to put there to keep water from pulling up and from slipping and falling. And here, uh, I just have matching rugs. The cleaning staff comes once a week to clean the bathroom, so that's really nice. Some places like ECV that have apartment style rooms, they don't get that, so you don't really have to bother with keeping the actual bathroom clean. All right, here though, you do have to keep it clean yourself. Um, this is where me and my roommate keep all our medicine and toothpaste and my glasses and my contacts and all that. And it's kind of a mess on the top and there's a bunch of storage underneath too. And that's where we keep our extra cleaning equipment, you know, just in case and extra medicine. You always need to get a mini fridge when you're living in a dorm and O-House definitely has the space for one. So we have ours and we also have like a little snack bucket on top. And this is where we put our drying rack for washing out coffee cups and stuff. So over here, we're going to move and we have the dresser on which we have a bookshelf with two bookends and a little lamp. But uh, I have the top two drawers, my roommate has the bottom two drawers, and they're more than enough for all the clothes you need for college. Okay, so this is the closet. These curtains didn't come with our house. We actually bought these for our room so they would match. But um, this is what my closet looks like. I have a small shoe container, which I don't actually use for shoes, because I put all my shoes on the top rack of the closet like this. So as you can see, it's a big closet, and you also have space on the top to store things like bags and um, laundry baskets and things. But I have like, uh, my rowing gear is hung up on the coat rack, and that's my dirty laundry basket, and my extra book bags for my um, for rowing team and for my drone are in there. So now I'm going to run you down to the basement and show you where we do our laundry and where the study rooms are. And on the way, I'll drop by a kitchen so I can show you what that's like. In addition to the two elevators, O-House has two stairwells which run up either side of the hallways. And if you live on the seventh floor like me, you kind of aren't keen on taking the stairwell every day. But it's an option. kitchen which has a stove, a microwave, and a sink, and a little counter to prepare your meals on. Some people like to cook in here, but if you're living in O House, it's a really good idea to have a meal plan since we're right next to the dining hall of O House. But um, because we have a microwave here, me and my roommate didn't even bother getting a microwave because we can just come down here anytime we need one. Alright, so we're in the basement. actually studying right now so I'm gonna be quiet when I go by the study rooms but we'll put the camera in there to see what they're like. Down here, there's a big flat screen TV on which you can change the channel. Uh, they have it off right now, but you can control it to whatever you want. Um, last semester, I know me and a bunch of other people would come down here every Sunday and watch The Walking Dead, but um, haven't gotten to do that this semester. It's been a little bit busy. Behind us are the washing machines and the dryers. Uh, you don't have to have quarters or anything to operate them, but um, you do have to have bring your own detergent. In the hall, there's a couple more studying rooms, and then there's a ping pong table and a ping pong ball dispenser. Okay, uh, right outside is one of the W11 parking lots, but you can't actually leave through these doors because there's our emergency exit, and they try to put all traffic through the original entrance that we came through so they can monitor who comes in and comes out of the building. This is the other study room. Um, the other one is actually a computer lab, but a lot of people just study in it too. This one doesn't have any computers in it, but it does have a whiteboard and a piano.
Alright, so uh, one more addendum. Our RA, whose name is Lionor, he's great. Um, but he likes to decorate our doors. And our first semester, we were decorated with Game of Thrones houses. And this semester, we got Harry Potter houses. Um, I got Tully, but screw the Tully stand. Starts for life. I'm not gonna lie though, Slytherin is pretty accurate. So that's pretty much it for O House. I've shown you all there is to see. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the main tour. I might see you later today if I decide to put anything else on. But um, if you have any questions, just uh, DM the Snapchat and I'll try to get right back to them.